everybody, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. So today is makeup unboxing time. This is a fan favorite. A lot of you guys have said that you like how I go through a lot of boxes all at once so that you guys don't have to sit through each individual box and item. So it's a variety of boxes that I've gotten this month. Um, and I just thought, hey, I've got enough, let's do this. So no particular order, or I guess we'll start from the least expensive and work our way to the most expensive. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, I will do a try on of these products probably beginning or mid next month. Today's look is products from last month's boxes that I uh, just finished taping that video. So hopefully I'll probably get that out after this video. So if you're interested, stay tuned, uh, hopefully. Hopefully that'll go well. Okay, so let's start with our least expensive boxes. And the first one are uh, probably my Ipsy, which is uh, about, it's either 12 or $15. I forget, they change the prices of all these things. I think it's $15 unless you do a year long subscription and it's $12. So Ipsy is one of those that I really do like and um, I've been getting it forever. It's, it's probably one of the best bangs for your buck for a small amount of money. Now I did add on this, um, hey honey, look into my eyes, retinol and propellus eye mask. Um, I thought this would be fun to try and I, I paid the $3 add-on for it. You can do add-ons um, at the beginning of the month when you learn your products. I don't do them as much as I used to just because I have so many products to work through, but occasionally something catches my eye like this that I wanna try. So this is, uh, 0.27 fluid ounces, which is not a lot, but for an eye product, usually it will last you a good long while. All right, so this uh, theme for this month is Make Waves, and this is what our little bag looks like. Very beach theme. We just did the beach last week. Um, you guys, if you've watched my videos, um, I was gone for a while, and then I came back and talked about the fact that we went on a two-week vacation where we, it was a vacation, but really a staycation where we did a bunch of national, not national, state parks within a two and a half hour period. That included one of the days we went down to the state park at the beach, which was really nice because they limited the amount of people and we really got to enjoy a relatively quiet beach. Um, I haven't done that in a while, so I enjoyed that. So this is giving me definite summer vibes and for those folks um, that need a little pick-me-up because we're kind of all cooped up. This is kind of a fun and cheerful thing. All right, so let's see. Of course, Ipsy is very all over the place uh, in the last year about whether they'll put stuff like what you get in there or not, and this month is one of those months that they, well, they didn't put what you are getting in here. So that's a little bit sucky. Um, they do have a five tips to maximize your SPF. Uh, and it's pretty common sense stuff. I definitely think wearing SPF is important, so I think it's good that they, you know, really focus on that. And then on the back here, they have a thing about make waves, win $1,000. So they want you to follow Ipsy on Instagram, join the community, create a makeup look or pop a color and post it on either Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, and then you hashtag it. Um, and they go from there. This ends on 6.30 for anyone interested. All right, so let's just go in here. I don't know how much this stuff costs. And um, yeah, <laughs> my other Ipsies, I'll get on the app and show you guys, but I have two separate accounts. It's kind of a pain to sign on to this one because I never combined them. So we'll just go with it. I don't know what this stuff is gonna cost. Ooh, this is a little bit dark for me. I'll probably put this in a giveaway. Um, it is a uh, Ofra Talia Mar highlighter in the color Soak. So, oh, it's so pretty though. It's like a pearly, it's like a pinky gold. I so wanna play with this. I'm gonna do it. Just because it's so stinking pretty, I feel like I could use it as an eyeshadow even if I don't use it um, on as a highlighter. Sorry I'm messing with my hair. It's all acting really funky right now. Oh, that's really pretty. I definitely don't think I'm gonna use this one as a highlighter, but as an inner corner color or a eyeshadow, that is freaking gorgeous. That's really, really pretty. Actually would look good on my makeup look today. So um, yeah, that's really nice. I love that they give these size of Ofra highlighters. It's really a good value. All right, next thing here is a Papa Recipes Eggplant Mud Cream Mask. I have never heard of this mask. Now, interestingly enough, I've started really checking my expiration dates. I suspect um, 
there's a lot of this going on if you guys are not aware and I noticed this about a year ago so this is why I keep checking my expiration dates a lot of these companies send out things that expire relatively quickly some are a long time some are a little so like this one expires on 10 12 2020 so not a lot of time to try this um, get really disappointed when companies send out stuff that gets closer to the expiration date but definitely take a look make sure you're paying attention to that so that you're not using a product that is expired but anyway this is supposed to be a clearing mud mask so i'm gonna put this in my um, little pile to use sooner rather than later uh, but you're supposed to use it after cleansing and leave on for 10 to 15 minutes so anyway i have a little pile over here i'm going to keep so that i use it up uh, sooner rather than later all right, so this is the Selfit Double Effect Cleansing Oil to Foam. I like these kind of products to clean off makeup. This one is uh, expires in 2023, so example, this one is good for a long time. This is for dry to sensitive skin, which is what I have, so I appreciate they sent me something that will work for my skin. And this is one fluid ounce, so that's a nice product. All right, this is, okay, I'm sure you guys have all noticed this if you're getting boxed, but I've been getting a lot of Kat Von D products. Um, and now they've renamed them KVD because Kat Von D sold it. I'm not a fan of Kat Von D uh, because I'm in the medical field, because I am a doctor. I truly do believe in vaccinations. Um, and so I don't, I don't like that she used her platform for, you know, talking about vaccinations when she doesn't have a background to really talk about it. She can affect a whole bit of the population. So that's about the extent I'll go into why I don't like her. There's other problematic things with her, but she ended up getting a lot of hate after she announced that she wasn't gonna vaccinate her children and then really kind of made this just not great video uh, kind of dancing around the issue. But a lot of her products have ended up in beauty boxes and discounts and then she sold it um, and they re tried to rebrand it as Kat Von D or KVD Vegan, I guess to take the Kat Von D out of it. Um, and so we've been getting a lot of the products, I suspect because of the rebranding. Um, when I get the products, I'm not gonna throw it out, I, that's wasteful, but I don't go out of my way to purchase her products. I don't know how I feel now that it's sold, but at least in the past, I would not go out of my way to purchase it. That's just my personal feeling. Um, and everybody's allowed to have their own personal feelings about that or what you spend your money on. I don't hate people that want to buy her products or like them. It is, it is what it is. Okay. Anyway, that's my rant aside, but this is a little translucent powder. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I have a lot of translucent powder. I don't use it that often. I'm gonna set this aside. I may give this away, uh, but it is sealed. So, all right. And then the final product here is Mally Beauty Clearly Brilliant Tinted Lips. This is kind of an orangey color. Um, not a color I would really lean towards, but I do like these lip crayons. And I feel like, uh, let's give this one a try and see what I think. Cause yeah. If I can open it. I didn't pre-open some of this stuff, so I'm sorry, guys. All right. Oh, actually, it's, yeah, it's definitely like a peachy color, but that's not bad. And it's very creamy. Doesn't have much of a smell. That actually is a color I might be able to pull off. Um, so, yeah, that's not bad. I actually don't mind that product. Uh, and I like that it kind of is pushing me out of my normal comfort zone uh, on lip colors. Like today, I'm wearing a lip color that is very much out of my comfort zone. But these boxes do a nice job of introducing me to colors and products that I probably would not buy. And it is called Nectar is the Color. Okay, so that is that one. So of it, I do like this. Not the best shade for me, but I still will use it. Definitely like the cleanser. Don't know how I feel about the translucent powder and the mud mask that is getting it ready to expire in a couple of months that I'll use. But overall, worth the value that they sent me. All right, next box, I have not even opened it up, is the Allure Beauty Box. This went on a hiatus, um, or was this one? I can't remember if this one went on a hiatus for a while. I feel like this one went on a hiatus for a little bit because of COVID. Um, Macy's Beauty Box hasn't restarted. I don't know when that one's gonna restart, if ever. But anyway, this is the Allure Beauty Box. Um, this one's also really good value. For a while I didn't care for it, but recently, or most recently, it's been pretty darn good. This one is, uh, I believe, $15, so you consistently get your money for it. 
Um, and anyway, this is what it looks like. They usually have some pretty good promo codes and I'm already seeing, dang, this box is gonna be good this month. First thing off the top is a Purelisse product and it's a freaking full size product. I love Purelisse, it's an expensive brand. This is the Water and Charcoal Purifying Cleanser. I have not tried this cleanser, but I do like some of their other cleansers an awful lot. Um, so this is, oh wow, this is a nice big full size. Super excited about that. So this is a brand that is based off of Korean Beauty, um, but it is a US company. This is normally $18, and you can use the code Allure Cleanser at checkout at purelysay.com for 20% off um, through August 31st, 2020. Um, so it's supposed to help cleanse your pores because of the charcoal. Uh, yeah, so wow, that's really, really nice. This in and of itself pays for the box, and I'm super happy with that. So right off the bat, if everything else sucks, this box is worth it. Okay, I think I've had this one before. This is the Yensi Super 8 Lip Oil. Um, I've gotten this in, I forget which box, so we'll see if it's the same color as I had before or not. I believe this is the same color I've had before, so I'm not going to sample it. I'll probably put this in a giveaway. Um, but this is a lip oil. It smells pretty sweet if I remember correctly. It's a good lip oil. I'm not a huge fan of lip oils. I kind of like lip glosses a little bit better. Um, but this product here is $28 and you can use the code AllureLip20 at yensa.com. Um, and it is a hot pink tint that will perk up your complexion. So anyway, that's also a really nice product. Next product here is La Roche-Posay Active C10. So I'm assuming this is a vitamin C product. Itty bitty little sample. I do like La Roche-Posay. Yeah, this is a vitamin C product. Um, and uh, vitamin C is fantastic for wrinkle and skin regeneration. I said this in one of my other videos recently. If you haven't seen it, I did a whole video on vitamin C. I'll post it up there for anyone interested. I just go into the logistics of vitamin C. I'm trying to see what type of vitamin C this has in it. Um, and the concentration, because that usually will make a difference. It's ascorbic acid. Um, it does have dimethicone in it. It doesn't really say the percentage. And then this expires in 322. So I have a long time to use this. This one will probably go in my pile to use a lot later. I have other vitamin C products I need to use up before I get to this one. But I do like the packaging on this. It will keep the vitamin C product nice and sealed away. So normal full price of this is $49.99. Obviously, this is a sample size. Um, and you can buy it on LaRochePosay.com, but you could also just buy this at Target because that's carried there. All right, next item here is the Belief, the True Cream Aqua Balm. And I don't think I've had the uh, aloe vera one before. That may be a new one. Yeah, I think that's a new one. I may keep this one. I've given away a lot of the Aqua Balm ones. Oh, that smells really good. Yeah, I've never gotten the aloe vera one. Um, and this seems like a bigger one than I've had in the past. All right, so this one is $38 for full size, and a full size is 50 mils. This is 10 mils, so this is a fifth of that. And you can buy it on Sephora.com. It, uh, uh, this is uh, like a, this one's a cream one. They have gel ones as well. Um, I like their products, but I don't like gel, uh, lotions as much, so that's why I tend to give them away, but people swear by this brand, and I know people get very excited when it's in the different cells. Okay, this one I was actually really excited when I saw it in here because I wanted to try something like this. This is the Dashing Diva Gloss Ultra Shine Gel Palette. These are salon gel strips. Everybody, like all my friends have been trying all these like Color Street and other gel nail stuff, and I hesitant to pay money for that kind of stuff just because I'm hard on my fingernails um, at work and so it's fun to get one of these to try something similar in a box. These are nine dollars which is really inexpensive and you can buy them on dashingdiva.com and use the code allure 20 to receive 20% off through July 31st. Um, and so let's open this up and see what they kind of look like. Um, I think these are really cute though. There's 34 strips they said in here and that is what they look like. There's some really pretty ones like the sparkly ones here, you've got the stripey ones and then these look like kind of like a gray pattern. Um, so yeah, that's kind of fun. 
We'll have to play with that more and see what I think, but I am excited to try that out. So that's that product. And then the final thing here is a very interesting looking star skin product. I do like star skin masks. I've gotten them in the past. And this is the interesting. Okay, so this is the star skin 100% Camilla nourishing brightening two-step oil sheet mask and it is ten dollars that's expensive for a sheet mask you buy it on starskin.com uh enter lore 20 and receive 20 percent off your order through august 1st of 2020 and so you're supposed to use the serum first and put it on your face then put the mask on leave it on for 15 minutes and then rub in the serum afterwards so that's a very interesting concept i'll definitely have to try that out um all right, and it looks like some people got these uh, gold black pearl eye masks as the option instead of the little Roche Posay. That would have been fun to get as well. But this was a fantastic box. Like I'm excited about pretty much everything. This is the only thing that kind of a miss for me because I already have it, but it's not a bad product. I'm just gonna pass it on so that I don't waste it because I haven't worked through the one I already own. But definitely worth the money that I got for this box. All right, next product here is uh, my one PR item in this uh, mega unboxing. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight boxes that we're gonna do. This is the one that sent to me in PR. The rest I purchased out of my own money, um, but I love this box so much. Uh, and so this is a little local company called uh, my paper box. I'll try to remember to put the link down below um, for you guys, but this is out of the Austin area, so it's nice and local, which I love the fact that this is a local subscription company. Um, but anyway, this is a welcome to June for join us for fresh drinks. And it says the longest day of the year in the summer is summer solstice on June 20th, which was yesterday. And um, it says make today extra squeeze special by squeezing fresh lemonade, fresh tea, or some ice cold. So they are always themed. This is the little mini subscription. I believe it's like around $15 for these little notepads and they send you three customized notepads. Um, and so this one is ice cold water and then it has my name on there. I love these, I just write little notes. Um, I was thinking about it when school starts back up for children and you pack lunches, you can write them little notes on different cards. This one is a little lemonade theme and it has my name on there, super duper cute. And then this one is another one that says fresh tea, 50 cents, and then my name. So if you like stationery, I do. I love all things stationery and paper products. Um, I find this is a very fun little box and definitely cute for the price. All right, that is that product. Now let's move on to our next price level and that would probably be the Ipsy Box by Fashionista. Those are my 20 some odd dollar range. This is my poor <laughs> Ipsy box. It, it is it's not having a good day. It was beat up and taped when I got it. Um, as you can see, it's just not happy looking. Um, and I, you know, it, it, it took a while to get to me. So I don't know if the post office had an issue with it or what exactly happened. Same thing, the thing does not give me any prices in here. I'm gonna try to open it up here on my phone so I at least can give you guys a little bit more about this particular box. Um, let me look up the Glam Bag Plus. So uh, let's just start with it. The first thing is the bag, which is super cute, but I'll be honest, I'm just, it, it's really not any major difference from the other bag, which, where did I put it? Oh, here. So this is the uh, regular bag, and this is the one in the Glam Bag Plus. I don't know what happened or why the bags look identical, but it's basically the same bag, and I don't know why why the bag isn't fancier, but it's not. It's cute still, but I would expect them to step it up for a $25 bag. All right, so the first product to in here, I actually own one of these already. I've used one of these up. I just purchased this in my FabFitFun um, add-ons and I'll post that video up there if you haven't seen it. But this is the Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Cleansing Milk. I absolutely love this cleanser. This is probably my favorite cleanser. Absolute favorite. 
So this is in the new packaging. I think the one I got in FabFitFun was the older packaging. Um, but this is such a wonderful, gentle cleanser. And it is just, it makes my skin feel so wonderful. So I am super excited to have another one. And since this is the newer packaging, I suspect this will stay good for a really long time. Um, the price on this one, let me see. Uh, so I can tell you guys, it is... MSRP is $36. All right, moving on here. The next item here is yet another black eyeliner. Ipsy sends me so many freaking black eyeliners. This is the Araceli uh, black eyeliner in the color Noche. And um, so I don't know, I may put this one away. I have so many black eyeliners. I just don't use black eyeliners, liquid eyeliners that often. Um, so this one is, um, I really should tell them no black eyeliners, honestly, at this point, I may do that. So this one is a $16 value. So that is the product here. I'm not gonna open it because I probably will give that one away. All right, next item here is a two set of masks. Uh, which, so it's six masks total. Um, and this is the J. Jun Cosmetics Wake Pure Sheet Mask. So this is a Korean brand. I've never tried this brand. Let's just open up one side. They're double of the same um, set. So you have uh, the Wake Pure Calming Mask, the Brightening Mask, and the Nourishing Mask, and they have some sort of little secret code. I don't know what that's about. I'll have to look that up, but they have a little secret code on the outside here. Anyway, they gave you six of those, and um, that's a lot of sheet masks. I'm not a big sheet mask person. I use them on and off, but they're okay. So it's $15 for all of those. And then the next product here is the one I got to pick. So if you go, they let you know mid-month you can pick your um, product that you're going to get. And so this is what I got. This is the Ciate London Marbled Metals Eyeshadow in Entwine. Okay, and so when I opened this, this box was a little bit crushed and the lid on this was loose, but the product seems to be okay in there. Um, this is what it looks like. It's super pretty. I don't know if you guys can really appreciate it as well on the video, but I'm going to swatch a little bit. It is like a cream metallic. I, it, the consistency is, um, it feels super creamy when I put it on my hand. You can see right there. Let me swatch a little bit more. This is so beautiful. If you can see it here. There you go. Very pretty. I definitely think I will use this, a, you know, maybe up here in the inner corner. Um, and very nice product. I like this kind of stuff as long as it hopefully doesn't dry out. And it's got a little bit of like heavier sparkle in there. Um, let's see what this one is so this one is msrp 24 dollars all right so that unfortunately is all that's in my box but i knew that i was missing an item um and i am i'm missing the flesh highlighting powder and boost if you guys can see there so i reached out to the company i said look my box didn't have it i don't know why i've never had anything missing from them they pretty much responded back immediately and said that they would be shipping out that product for me so whenever i get it i'll show it to you guys but um they seem to respond to me okay so we'll see fingers crossed that i'll get that in a timely fashion so for that box it was kind of a hit or miss for me obviously i'm missing a product i don't really love the face mask i don't really love the eyeliner um but i do like the other products and just the face wash and the eyeshadow part alone make it worth it for me all right, this is the box by Fashionista, or fashion-y, Fashionista, I can never say that correctly. This is a more indie box, um, and it's in the $25 range, or 21. I think if you originally had it, it's 21, and the new people are 25. I paid for this back in May, but with COVID, um, the owner did let everyone know that he wasn't going to be able to ship out, and so this is all the stuff that was supposed to ship out for April, or May, sorry, um, but didn't, he hasn't been taking any fees for the rest of them up until this point. So I do appreciate that the owner was pretty clear about what was going on. And, um, that is a very good thing. All right. So you always have the little card in here. 
Um, they talk about the delay with COVID-19. Uh, and uh, he says, you're not charged for April or May box. Sorry, I was saying May. This is the March box. This is the stuff from March. We're in June. Um, and then, uh, so now it's our May goodies. So, and then they talk about the stuff on the back here. So let's just dive in it. The first item here is Jet Super Hydrating Mask Kit. We've gotten a lot of Jet items recently in boxes. I haven't tried a lot of their products yet, so I definitely want to start trying their products. This is supposed to be a step one soothing microfiber toilet and then a hydrating mask. So if you fly, this would be super handy. Unfortunately, right now, most of us are not flying. So we'll just have to try it for just a regular type thing. This is a $9 soothing mask kit and it is a antioxidant with cactus fruit and rose hip um and yeah we'll try that out at some point so that's that and then they did throw in i thought this was apropos given everything the bye bye germs uh by double dare so this is the same company this is a little hand sanitizer and it's five dollars and fifty cents and anyway that is the hand sanitizer i'm gonna leave this sealed for now until later when i run out of hand sanitizer um all right, next item here is the Shrivani Beauty. I meant to go look these up and I didn't have time to. This is the Marvel Elixir. This is Mar Karjua, I didn't say that right, infused primer oil. So this is what the packaging looks like. This is supposed to be $54. And this is what it looks like here. I have, like I said, I've never heard of this company. Um, and Let's see what it says about it. This is a very fancy feeling uh, bottle. It is glass and heavy feeling. Um, so this is a, supposed to be a primer plus beauty oil. It's a fast absorbing lightweight properties, making firmer, plumper and youthful skin. And it's made in the US, it's vegan and cruelty free. So let's smell this bad boy. Doesn't really have much of a smell. It looks like just your regular oil. So definitely we'll try this out and see what I think. We don't know. All right, moving on here. Next item here is the Herbal Dynamics Beauty Clean and Calm Cucumber and Blue Lotus Micellular Water. Um, micellular water and my skin don't tend to get along great, so I may pass this on to a family member just because I tend to get, uh, it, like I, my skin breaks out, or not breaks out, gets super dry and I get eczema when I use it around my eye area. Um, and that's where I tend to use cleansers the most. Um, but we'll see. Yeah. Anyway, so this product is $16 and it is can be used as a toner or one-step cleanser. Maybe I'll use this more as a toner and just see how my skin responds to it. It's cruelty-free, sulfate-free, paraben-free, and phthalate-free. And uh, yes, I think that's about it on it. All right. Cool, cool, cool. That's a nice little product. All right, next item here is by the company Emily Alexander, Alexandra Lipstick. And this is a vegan, cruelty-free, ocean-friendly water resistant. So I guess you can wear this into the ocean. Uh, sunscreen ingredients, keeps your lips hydrated and happy. I'm very curious about this. So this is what it looks like. And oh yeah, I remember looking at this one. This is what it looks like. It is a mermaid pattern. It's a very bright pink. Um, I'm gonna debate on what I'm gonna do with this. It's super pretty. I actually think I could probably pull this color off. I just don't know if I am going to use it or not. So I'll set this aside and see. I may pass this on to somebody just because I have so many products. Um, but that is super cute. That's $18. And then the final thing here is Lamb Light. Um, they are a nice indie brand that a lot of people really love. And this is the Alondra Desi Eyeshadow Palette for $38. And um, they're cruelty-free, vegan, and allergen-tested. This is what it looks like. Very fancy, swaggy velvet. This will get dirty really quickly. This reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills outer packaging. Not a big fan of that kind of packaging, but it is pretty. Um, it is a U.S. company, but it is made in the PRC for those who are interested on the back here. And this is what it looks like. Um, so we've gotten some other Glam Light palettes from them and I have really liked their palettes in the past. So we're just gonna kinda swatch into here a few colors. Ooh, gosh, they're, I always forget how creamy their freaking uh, ones look. So those two colors are off there. 
So definitely creamy, feels really nice. These are pretty, I'll definitely play with this. Oh, this color lit. Oh, that one's really pretty. Okay, so this color lit here is the prettiest. Can you see it here? It's this one right there. It's got like this yellowy shift to it. It's really pretty. All right, that's gonna be a fun eyeshadow palette. I feel like you can get lots of fun looks um, and go from there. And all right, so that's it. That's that whole box. That's definitely worth it for me. Love that it's different indie products and that it's supporting small uh, business owners. And the owner did come out and ask for uh, like little local companies and small businesses that he can help support through the pandemic. So that's really cool. All right, next one is Tribe Beauty Box. This is a, I believe it's bi-monthly and it's in the $30 range, 30, I wanna say it's like $34. Um, this is a company that is owned by a Canadian group of sisters, if I remember correctly. So you can get it in the US and Canada. Um, and they do a lot of more indie products as well. And they do some collaborations with smaller YouTubers, which I also think is really fun. Um, this month does not look like it's in collaboration with anybody, but they put their little card that tells you what they've gotten. So the first product in here, unfortunately mine is a little squished. They have recently switched to bags. I know some people still get boxes, but they did put out a whole thing about how they were switching to bags to save and be able to put more into their boxes. I don't really mind as long as my products aren't destroyed. So this is the Skin Chemist London Rose Illuminating Glow Peel Off Mask. Um, I've gotten some of their other products and they're okay. Um, this uh, expires in 5, 2021, so we've got some time to use this. And uh, yeah, it's a UK company if I remember correctly, Skin Chemist. Okay, so this is $43 US dollars. It's supposed to be a re skin rejuvenating peel off face mask that exfoliates dead skin. I'm all for that, my skin is just Definitely not been feeling very good recently. Um, and you can, uh, it's supposed to remove dead skin cells. Cells. It has a kai berry and peona flower extracts to help illuminate an even skin tone. All right, so right there is the cost of your box. Okay, moving on, we have got the Chrome Glaze Pure. And this is the High Shine Lip Gloss. I've gotten these lip glosses before. I don't know if I'll keep this because it's a dark color. Um, I will probably pass this on just because of the color, but it is really pretty. Again, I don't tend to wear a lot of dark, dark colors, so I only keep a few, but this is a nice product. I do like Pure Cosmetics lip glosses. I've had them before. This one is $18, so you could have either gotten the Chrome Glaze and Rebel or the Velvet Matte and Innocent. So I am glad they sent me the glaze because I'm more likely to use that. Um, Rebel is a lightweight, highly pigmented lip color utilizing gel technology to coat the lips in vivid color and intense shine. Okay, that's that. All right, next item here is they send you a $10 or a $50 Bright Sellers wine card for anyone who wants it. Here is the code. I'm not going to use it, so someone can have that. All right, next few items here. We have got a Masquerade mask. This is the Skin Retreat. I've never seen this one. These are mini sheet masks. There's supposed to be 12 mini masks in here, and they look like little uh, different things of cakes, um, so different dessert designs. And this product is supposed to be $5, and it's supposed to hydrate your skin and help skin in even tone. Um, so cleanse skin, you're supposed to leave these on for 10 to 20 minutes and you're supposed to basically target certain areas. So that's cute. All right. Next item here is the, uh, Rodial Mascara XXL. I believe I already have one of these and if I do, I'll probably put this one in a giveaway, um, cause I haven't even gotten to my old one, but this is $29. And this contains bees, beeswax for lash conditioning, uh, carnauba wax for even adherence and prevent clumping, and soluble collagen to get a full body of lashes with added shine. So um, Rodiel is a really nice expensive brand, um, but I have not tried their mascara, so I'm not sure how this is gonna be. And then the final item here is from, this is a company that I am not familiar with. This is the Lorac, but not like expensive Lorac. This is a different Lorac um, Cosmetics. And this is the Chocolate Palette 
box. Let's see, let's pull this out. That's what it looks like. Um, so this is a made in the PRC, but it is designed and developed in the UK. Uh, and it is a hybrid palette that hosts boasts two lavish high beam highlights and endless collection of creamy chocolate hues. This is supposed to be 43.74. Oh, this is really pretty. I don't think it looks as pretty when you first like look at it, but look at the color combos and they're kind of put in little quadrants so that you um, can play with them. What it reminds me of, these little marbleized ones, remind me of the Huda Beauty um, palettes. So when you actually swatch them, they give you this really dynamic kind of different look. It's hard to even see on the camera here. This is kind of going from a brown to a pink. Um, and then this one here, this divine color is another marbleized one here. Let me see on my hand here. So again, same thing has like a green shift to it along with there. That's really pretty. Um, and then we have one called champagne truffle which is another one that looks like it has like a greenish to like a, oh, that's really pretty to like a pink shift there. So that's really, really pretty. Um, so this looks really nice. Definitely the highlighter on the bottom will work for me, but I think both highlighters will work in some form or fashion. Um, but in really a pretty array of colors, so I am excited to use this. And so far, the shimmers swatch out pretty. So that'll be interesting to use. I've never used this company before. If you guys have, let me know what you think. But so far, so pretty. All right, so that is the box. Um, pretty palette. Uh, mascara and this, I'm not sure I'm gonna use. The peel off mask, I'm definitely gonna use. And then this is actually kind of fun for a mask. So it's, it's not one of their best boxes, but this isn't a horrible box. I actually do like it. Um, but it's kind of so-so for the month. All right, we've got our last two boxes. So we're gonna do our Ipsy Ultimate, which is the $50 box. This one I'm thinking of pausing for a while just because I'm getting a little product overload and I've just not been as excited about it. Um, and yet again, we have a card that does not tell us anything about the products, but at least our bag is a decent sized bag. So this bag is really cute. Use it as like a little pencil or makeup bag. I usually give these away or put stuff in them um, other than makeup usually, but this would be a cute little like travel bag um, for your like toiletries and stuff. So let me pull out my phone again so I can give you guys a download on what these products are and what's their worth. Um, all right, so the first item here is the Laura Geller Spackle Mist Restore. This is the item that I picked and um, this is coconut water. So this is supposed to prime, set, and refresh. Um, and I've liked the Laura Geller products I've gotten before. So oh, what is it doing here? <laughs> it's trying to open stuff on me without me like getting in there. All right, so this product is, um, it's four fluid ounces and it is $32 MSRP. So I'll probably, try this both as like a pre putting on my lotions and then I'll try it as actually a setting spray and see what I think. All right, next item here is the Huda Beauty Basic B Stret Edge Sponge Applicator. And um, I suspect more designed for contouring if I had my guess and I don't contour. Um, but yeah, it has that straight edge. So for those folks that like to contour, I don't contour, but it will be nice to get right up under my eyes here. It feels a little bit firmer, so it's more firm than the Beauty Blender, but it's still soft. Um, I always like getting new sponges to try them out and see. I'm sure because this is Huda Beauty, um, it's expensive, even though it's just a sponge. Um, and its MSRP is $17, so a little bit less than the uh, Beauty Blender. All right, next item here is the Doucet Fragmatic Eyeshadow Pro Palette. I've seen these in a lot of FabFitFun sales. I've never purchased one. Um, I have had mixed luck with Doucet, but I am definitely worth trying this out. So this is what the product looks like right there. Um, and so it has some cranberry shades. I like that basically it takes every shade that's a matte and then below has kind of a corresponding shimmer shade that will make it a very um, useful palette here. And then it has a highlighter. And let me see here on this product list. 
So this is the Smoky Pro Edition, and this one is $65. So I'm just gonna do a little shimmer on here and see. Eh, it, that does a pretty nice job. Ooh, that one's not so good. So there's two shimmers. You can't see the one above the this color right here. This one is the white one here. It doesn't seem to swatch very well. Um, I can already tell you that I'm gonna get really irritated with this palette just based on the fact that these are magnetic and there's this gap right here, I'm sure, so you can put a brush in there and they're sliding down. That's irritating to me. Um, the other thing I don't understand is this one here, which is magnetic, has a little cover, but the other ones do not. So that one has a cover, but the other ones don't, so that you have to remove it to uh, do that. I don't really understand why it did that. But anyway, that is the palette. And um, yeah, that's, that's all I can say about it. So it's okay. Uh, very expensive, don't know if it's worth the price. All right, next item here is one that I've actually never tried, but I wanted to try. Um, this is the Dr. Brandt Luminizing Primer, Pores No More. Um, I like luminizing primers, um, and this is what the packaging looks like. I'm not gonna open it just yet, uh, but anyway, this is, uh, let's see what its price is. So this is MSRP $38, and this is supposed to help with like lines and tiny filling in, but it's also supposed to help make your skin look illuminated and dewy, which we like. Um, it has tea tree oil, lentil seed extract to refine your pores. So that is that item. All right, next item. I will put this in a giveaway because I already have one of these and I'm not using it, but it is a good product. Um, this is the Essential C Day Moisturizer in SPF 30. I don't remember if I got this in an Ipsy or if I got this in a BoxyCharm. I can't remember, but I already have one. It is smells fantastic. It smells like oranges. Um, and so this will go in a giveaway. This is a great product. Um, and it has vitamin C, which is also really good. It's $65. So, I mean, we're, already, we're getting our value here. It's not the most exciting box, but definitely getting my value. But this one I will give away. All right, next product here is the Il Maquillage Infinity Longwear Matte Lip Cream. My God, this thing is super duper heavy filling. And this is in the color Infinity. Wow, this packaging is a little bit excessive. This is what it looks like. It's a, this is glass. This is super heavy. Um, and this is what the lip cream looks like. I am gonna swatch this out for you guys. That is a nice, like, you know, color that I would utilize. So I'm gonna definitely play with this and keep it. Um, Il Maquillage, I've had pretty decent luck with, so I'm not upset about getting this product. And it is $20. Two dollars. So there you go. All right. Next item here is a uh, Larousse fancy, fancy packaging. Here, this is a set of brushes. I am always happy to get brushes. These are the essential brush set. So let's open this brush set up and see what we're dealing with. Um. All right, and let's learn about them. I don't know how I feel about the brush handles on this. So this is the angled contour brush. That's nice and thick. It feels nice. I don't really like the handles. It's kind of this rubbery, rubbery type of handle. So that's kind of irritating, but that's okay. This is the tapered blending brush. I do think I will use this brush. Um, the bumps on that are not quite as bad. This is the, uh, probably a shading brush. Yes, this is the shadow brush. This one also feels nice. Again, not super bumpy on the handles like the other one. This one is the flat foundation brush. I will probably put this in a giveaway. Um, I don't use flat foundation brushes. Um, so this one I'm gonna set aside to give away. And then this one is probably, oh, this is a little kabuki brush. These are nice for, I find, for putting like things under like the eye area. This one's not bad either. All right, so four of those five brushes are not bad. And let's see what the price is for this brush set. The price for this brush set is $154. I just don't know if that's really the case. There's gotta be something about this. This is synthetic bristles, vegan, cruelty-free, and hypoallergenic. I have a hard time believing that these are 150 some odd dollars. Um, has anyone ever heard of this brand, this La Russe? 
and they're made in China. I just, I have a hard time believing this brush set is really that price. Maybe 20 bucks. Mm, I call, I call bull on that one. All right, next one here is the Autobomb Girl Powder Cheeks on the Go. They always have the cutest packaging. And let's open this bad boy up and see. So this is what it looks like. Definitely I'm gonna utilize this. So uh, I know I have a sample of Houston that I haven't tried. So if I do, I'll give that sample away. But Houston and Bourbon are super cute. This one I could use as a highlighter. And then Bleaker actually looks like it's a little pinky, but you could totally use it more like a, well, it's still a blush, but it's it's definitely a more brownish blush. Very, very, very cute. And then usually when you're done, you can pull these out and then use the little tin. So that's adorable. All right, so this one is MSRP 2650. And then let's get into the last final little thing. So they always put in some sample size stuff. <coughs> I don't know why they do that instead of putting like one or two big ones, but whatever. So the first one is BioRace. This is a pore tightening pearl clay mask. This expires in 2021 on here. And this one is, um, let's see, it doesn't say the price. So this is definitely a sample size here, all right? Then we've got a Ciate London Wonder Wand Mascara. I have not tried this particular one, so I'll definitely give this one a try. And this one is, let me see, I'm pulling it up here. This one here is this. Let's open this up because I'm due for a new mascara anyway. Oh, I don't know if I'll love this brush. This reminds me a lot of the Better Than Sex brush, which I tend to poke my eye with that shaped brush. Um, but this one is also sample size. And then this is definitely sample size. This is H2O Plus Nourishing Gel Cream. I will probably give this one away. I'm not a big fan of gel creams. Um, I like the H2O uh, brand, though I've had this one before. And then the final thing here is the UFO Acne Treatment Facial Oil. This has acne and blackheads. This is 1.5% salicylic acid. So I may pass this one on. I do like salicylic acid but I don't really have a lot of um, acne. Um, and so I don't need a face oil that treats acne all the time, but that's a cute little sample. So that may get passed on as well. So of this, uh, this is probably gonna get passed on. Um, this brush is probably gonna get passed on and this will probably get passed on. I do like these two little samples. <coughs> I definitely like the blush. I like the lip gloss. Um, I'm gonna pass this on, although this is a good product. Definitely like that. The other brushes are okay, just overpriced. Um, this is okay, overpriced as well. The sponge is okay, and then the spackle cream. So not the most exciting box. Definitely worth the value I got, but I just feel kind of underwhelmed in general by these boxes recently. I feel like the value is there, but they're just not really exciting anymore. Um, and maybe it's because I'm getting product to overload, but I feel like a little break from that box will probably do me good. I took a break last month. I think I'm going to take a little bit more regular break from that box. All right, this is the Boxy Lux. I usually really like this box. This is their $50 box. It's upgraded from their regular one. Um, so you have your regular one and then you get this one in addition. I also get the Boxy Premium, which is still pending. So I'll do a video on that one whenever that gets here. Like I said, I usually like this one. Occasionally I have misses, but let's just get into this one and see how we do. This is a little card, the Oasis, and this is box number 11. All right, and the first thing here is the Billion Dollar Brushes Charcoal Brush Set. So again, like I said, I'm not adverse to getting brushes. Um, and let's see how these feel. I've never gotten billion dollar brushes, but they're in a lot of sales that we see. So this is the powder brush. This doesn't feel that fancy, but that's okay. This is the contour brush. That's okay. This is the concealer brush, which I do like. This is the um, eyeshadow brush. So that's nice, and then we've got a blender brush. So I may give the um, contour brush away just because I don't think I'm gonna use it. That brush set is 
$55. All right, next item here, I've gotten samples up. I do like this product, so I'm not unhappy to get it. This is the Pure Lisse BB Cream SPF 30 in the color Fair. Um, and so this product actually works really well for me. Like I said, I've had a couple sample sizes and I've liked them. It's $35. So that is that item. Um, next item here is a Kylie Skin product. I don't know how I feel about Kylie Skin. I haven't really purchased much Kylie products in general, um, but her skin line kind of had a lot of controversy when it came out. Uh, this foaming face wash uh, also kind of, there was some controversy about how she utilized it. And uh, anyway, I just remember when it came out. Uh, I'll give it a try. So usually I find foaming products can be a little drying on my skin, but the packaging is really pretty. So this product here is twenty. It's supposed to have vitamin C and E to help maintain moisture and elasticity. So yeah, we'll give that a try and see what we think. All right, next they did give a little pamphlet here and you can get $5 off your next Kylie Skin product using the code BOXY5. And then they have a Purely Say little card that talks about that product a bit more. All right, next product here is the Bodyography Lip Pencil 2-Pack. Um, let's see what this one looks like. It's $28. It's in the colors Pouty and Rosewood. All right, so probably I'm not going to use that color because it's a little bit dark, but this one I will probably use. So I'll probably give one of these away. Um, so let's swatch the lighter one and see. It's not it's okay, it's not super creamy, but it is a pretty color. All right, so I'm gonna put this one back in the box just in case I decide to give this one away. All right, that's that product. Now this one I have, and people love this, and I, I'm gonna double check, but I'm pretty sure I already have one of these, and if I do, I'm gonna get this away because there's just no way I'm gonna get through two of these in a reasonable amount of time, and I'm almost 100% positive I have this. So if that's the case, I will give this to some lucky person. This is the Melon and Goats Recovery Treatment Oil. I've just heard nothing but great things about this product. Um, I've just gotten it before, and I can't remember if I got it in a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy. I think it was probably an Ipsy in the past. Um, and this is... Uh, $82, so it's a really pricey item. Um, it's also packed with vitamin C and vitamin E. It's supposed to improve skin tone, geranium, and borage oil to help balance the skin, and it's suitable for all skin types, including sensitive. So anyway, if that's the case, someone will get it in an upcoming giveaway. I think when I hit 2,500 subscribers, which I'm moving pretty fast to that, I will do another giveaway. All right, so this product here is Tula Skin Care Get It and Glow, Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. Oh, that's exciting. I didn't see this when I first opened the box. This one I'm actually really excited about. So this one is a eye balm stick that delivers a lit from within glow to hydrate and cool and fill in your fine lines. I love things like this. I have a couple of these uh, from other brands like Pure that I absolutely love. So I'm going to put this on this part of my hand here just to see. Oh, yes, wow. Doesn't have a great smell though. It smells kind of gross, but it definitely gives like a pearlescent look here. If you can see here, definitely pearlescent and it feels really cooling. It almost has like a blue undertone. Like you could almost use this as a highlighter. So that's a really fun and interesting product. And that is $28. All right, next item here is the one that you could pick if you remember to get on there in time. This is the Tarte Tardius Pro. Um, I don't believe I have this one. I have the other one, the um, newer version of it. So this will complete out my Tarte products. They do have like a little eye makeup tutorials there, which is handy. Okay, yeah, I don't have this one. So this will complete my Thing. This is all mattes with some shimmers on this side over here. Um, I had seen this on sale before and I kind of hesitated to get it just because people had talked about the mattes muddying together. Um, and I'm a big shimmer fan, but I don't mind getting it in a box. It smells good. So Tarte products always have this like baked good smell. So I'll definitely give this one a try and play with it. Like I said, I do like Tarte products in general. Um, 
So we'll play with that one and see. This is normally $49, but like I said, I've seen it on sale recently in the $20 range. And the final thing here is the Eco Goddess Duo Self-Care Pure Essential Oil Blend. I'm not a huge essential oils person, um, just because I just am not. I have small children and pets, so you have to be real careful about essential oils around them. Um, this is a woman's blend, and let's see what's this other one. And Calm and De-Stress Blend. Oh, that smells... That smells really good. That smells like lavender. i probably try these out though, just for the sake of trying them. I don't know what the women's blend is supposed to be. I don't have a vaporizer, so uh, I'll have to use this in a carrier oil instead. It says you can massage this in with a carrier oil. That's probably how I will utilize this because uh, I don't have a vaporizer. I really don't want to get a vaporizer for essential oils just because of having children and animals. But anyway, this product here is $40. So of all these products, this actually wasn't as bad now that I've actually gotten into this. Um, I did like this a lot better than Ipsy Ultimate. I'm not a big fan of the that, but it's okay. Um, this was cute. This is really nice, but I already have one. I am super excited about the Tula product. Uh, I liked one of the two lip pencils. The Kylie Skin, it's eh, it's okay. I did really like this. This was a nice product. I'm glad it actually fits my skin stuff. Um, and the brushes are okay. I did think the brushes were better in the other box. So that is all my boxes. Uh, what did you guys think? Which boxes were good? Which ones are kind of coming to an end? I feel like uh, Ultimate, Ipsy Ultimate's kind of get, I'm getting over it. Um, but the rest, I they weren't bad. Hit or miss. I feel like COVID's kind of thrown everything off recently. And so my boxes haven't been quite as good. Um, but that's okay. And I also feel like everything's kind of muted recently. I don't know if, if because of all the stuff going on, everyone's just kind of going for a more natural look. So it's not as exciting, but it is more useful. So I don't know. That's, that's my whole thing. Um, let me know what you guys think. You know, is this stuff good? Did you think these boxes were worth it? This is a really, really long video. So I'm going to let you guys go now. Um, and I will catch you later. All right. Bye.